Welcome back into this week's edition of Maverick Insider. I'm Rob Clark, joined alongside Minnesota State track and field star Jabez Reeves. Jabez, when you find out that you are going to be an Olympian, tell me how it feels. Um, I think that it's still surreal just being in this kind of state right now from being someone that wasn't selected on the team last year to being able to come out with the team and, and join them to make the Olympics is kind of like the pinnacle of every athlete's career. So it's, it's, it's actually very surreal. And for you to kind of be, you, you go down to the Bahamas for the qualifiers and then come back to race in the NSIC Outdoor Track and Field Championships, just how much of a whirlwind have the last couple of weeks been for you? Uh, I'd say since March after Natty, I don't think I've sat down for long, considering we went to Ghana. Then from Ghana, we came back again for some more competitions back at home. We traveled up to Iowa, then we hit up to Bahamas, came back to a conference. Uh, we've, I haven't really sat down in here for at least a week, so we're, we're just trying to keep the, keep the momentum, keep everything going. And when you look at the national championships coming up here, what uh, really are your expectations? Um, I won't say that the expectation is too high for myself just because we went in the indoors with that kind of just, the slate starts at zero. Every time I go to a meet, no matter what time I have as a PR on the paper, we're always just there to start it off as a, as a clean slate and just prove that I'm, I deserve to be where I am, so. For you to be able to, um, you know, say you were part of, I think it's a dozen straight now, NSIC Outdoor Track and Field Championships for mm -hmm. the Mavericks. What is it about this program that seems like you guys just keep taking it to a whole new level every year? Uh, I'd say I think the biggest thing for us, why we perform the way we do is, it's not really a lot of filler things we do. It's more just keeping the main thing the main thing. I think that's one of the biggest things that me and Parno work on where we just, we create a plan from August and we stick to that plan and we don't waver from it and try new things or try to deteriorate from that plan. We get the results we need. What really drew you to come to Minnesota State? Um, I think Denisha was a big indicator of why I wanted to come here. Just seeing her results, seeing how she was able to translate hurdling and sprinting and still perform at a high level. Just me coming in as a sprinter, I wanted to come here and follow in the footsteps of my mentor, Matadi, as well. And, um, you know, to be with Matadi there, uh, you know, in the Olympics, he was a Maverick as well. How cool of an experience is that really gonna be for you? Um, it's, it's been full circle for me, I think. Uh, Meeting your mentor and then joining him on the team that qualifies for Olympics is kind of like once in a lifetime, sometimes doesn't happen kind of thing. So it's been it's been crazy for real. It's been something crazy. Coach Farno talks about the analytical approach that they kind of take when it comes to the athletes in the in the sprints. What do you think it is that is kind of able to really get the most out of the athlete's ability as far as the training is concerned? Uh, I think. From, at least from what I look at, it's more just you're either going to put the work in or you're going to let someone else get the, the results you want. You know what I mean? So putting myself in a position where I was getting tired of watching guys achieve what I wanted to achieve to becoming the guy that's achieving what other guys want to achieve now, it's kind of like it's a blessing in itself. So I think just part of instilling that, hey, I'm going to go to Natty's and it's up to you if you want to join me there. Kind of mindset for the program has, has turned me up to where I'm like, I'm going to join you there. I'm going to see you there. So it's good. It's good. When you wear your nation's colors, what is that experience really like? Uh, I think competing for Liberia, just being the fact that my mom and dad are from there, it, it, it kind of just makes my heart smile because my mom, that's all she talks about is wanting to see me compete for Liberia. So the fact that they sat in the living room and all of them watched me qualify is kind of like even my grandma who barely can you know move around was still able to watch it with the family was pretty exciting so it's just a humbling moment for real well thanks so much for joining me Thank you.